Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking the time to spend a little time with me and look at the ratings on this team. <laughs> what you guys are currently looking at, in case you can't tell, yes, guys, yes. I had to simulate a couple of seasons because I had to figure out what was going on with the recruiting. And I found out that maybe there was something I was doing wrong because remember on my last stream, I talked about you know, how the team didn't fill out. So what I did is I simulated the rest of the season I was playing, simulated another season, and allowed the CPU to do auto recruiting for me. And as you can see, guys, the team did fill out. Now, a lot of guys that you guys were familiar with seeing, like quarterback PJ Hatter and, and, and Bo Sparks, the receiver, a lot of those guys are currently gone. They've graduated, some of them got drafted, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just giving you a, a quick look, a quick peek at the actual, you know, roster that I currently have. And, and I'm still trying to figure out the scouting, what I'm actually doing now in this current season. You know, I'm, I'm three weeks in, four weeks in, I believe, by the time you guys will see it, or five weeks in. I can't quite remember, but, you know, going through it myself, and I think I figured it out a bit. I can't wait to see what happens at the end of the season and see if I can still land enough people on my roster. But this is what we're currently working with right now. Just showing you guys the complete roster as we cycle here through the quarter, uh, quarterbacks, uh, excuse me, cornerbacks. And um, yeah, and we, let's take a look at my secondary. Look at these guys, man. You know, my, my cornerbacks ain't too bad. My secondary is, is decent. As you look at the man coverage on a couple of these guys and the zone coverage, yeah, we got a much better secondary than we had uh, uh, the last time you guys saw it. So <laughs> we'll see how this season transpires, and we'll round it out here with the safeties. And then it looks like we do have two punters as well. Um, and there you have it, two punters, two kickers. But all right, guys, let's get into some gameplay. See you on the field. All right, all right, all right, guys. Here we are back on the field. As you can see, we're taking on Troy at Troy. So we are on the road, man. And what a hot start we have so far, man. We are currently sitting at three and one. Yeah, three and one. A nice start to the season. Still using the same sliders. Uh, updated the sliders to the most recent sliders that uh, my good buddy Sim Gaming Network posted out there. The only thing that I have differently I still have my pass coverage at zero. Pass coverage and pass reaction time is down to zero. So keep that in mind. That's the only thing that I've changed. And um, you guys be the judge as you take a look at the gameplay. So here we are, guys. Troy is going to get the ball first. And they're going to hand the ball off here. Going to gain seven yards on first down, second and three. From the 24-yard line here, they're going to drop back and pass. Quarterback goes to his left and to his right, and he runs right into the arms of two defenders. rock a -bye baby. Oh, do it, do it. <laughs> My man getting busy there with the celebration. Going to bring up a early third and 14 as Quadre Body. Not going to call him Batty. <laughs> Quadre Body comes up with the sack. And it is third and 14. And they're going to drop back. Has plenty of time. He's going to circle around. Takes off. Look at this. Look at this. Almost. Almost picks up the first down. About four yards short. Five yards short. And on fourth and five, they're going to punt. And look at my man Evans. A nice punt return. Going to put us in plush territory here. And that is definitely the start that we wanted to get. You know, as far as getting off to a hot start, man, you produce a three and out. And then just like that, here we are as we take a look at the key players to look at. Sorry with the editing right there. I was a little quick there. But those are the impact players. And you can see the star. And look at this, man. Great blocking right there by my center. But you know who the impact players are. Remember McNeil, the left tackle that I recruited in year two, I believe? He is a star player for us right now, man. So it's good to see these guys turn into something and look at this man we got the running game going running game is going early 
And we're going to go right back to it, man. Handing it off to Swain once again, and he picks up the first down. We're going to have a first and goal from the seven. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his... And we're going to hand the ball off here. Quick counter. Going to bring up a second and goal from the six-yard line. And then we're going to run the speed option. Can we get to the end zone? No, just short. But we're going to bring up a third and two, and you already know what we're going to do. We're going to run a trust, trusty, trustworthy <laughs> inside zone for the score. And it is a touchdown for Texas State. My man Swain able to get the touchdown there. So good stuff, guys. We off to a great start here. Bryce Swain. It might be Swainy, but I'm calling him Swain. So here goes Troy. Ooh, nice cut there by the running back. I'll pick up a three, second and seven. They're going to hand the ball off here. Ooh, look. Again, man, that's something that I highlight, man, is the, the running game of the CPU as far as their vision and the AI awareness. I love it. We got him in a third and seven. I love this as well. And I know my buddy Sw uh, Sim Gaming Network is watching this. He loves when the AI QB will take off and run. They do that quite well and quite often in college football. You got to appreciate that as they picked up the first down there. Limited gain on first. Brings up a second and eight. They're going to hand the ball off. Look at that cut by the CPU running back, man. Running the ball hard. First and ten, and they're going to hand that ball off again. And look at this, man. Again, some nice running by the CPU, but it looks like their tackle, Boyd, is going to be called for holding. And they're going to bring that back. First and 15. And QB is going to drop back, and he finds a man in the middle of the field. Pick up a five, second and ten. From the empty set, they're going to go with a screen. And a nice gain there. Picks up seven yards, bringing up a third and three. And they hand the ball. Oh, look at this right up the middle. Makes a man miss. Oh, fighting through tackles and almost scores. Brings up a first and goal from the one. And you can pretty much guarantee that they're going to get it done as they throw a quick pass out of the backfield. And look at this, man. The running backs for Troy are showing up big, paying dividends early. And it is a tied ball game. But you know we're going to do the same thing, man. We're going to try to run that football. Second and nine, we're going to drop back. And, woo, we fine. Fine holiday. A holiday, excuse me. On the end cut, as we appreciate what Mr. Jackson does here as a QB. A little milestone there for the season. We're going to hand the ball off here and this nice strong run for six yards. Second and four. Putting a man in motion. And we're going to hand the ball off to Swain again. And Swain picks up a first down as we end the first quarter. You know, I, I still appreciate the presentation that is offered in this game. However, it could be so much better, so much deeper. Again, we need to see a EA Sports football game that can replicate anything close to what we saw out of 2K football, particularly 2K5. We got to get this presentation to the next level. But look at this, man. Passing the ball here, and we're going to get it to a third and two. And, of course, we're going to run the ball. Oh, we get stuffed, but... Feeling a little antsy on the road here. We don't want to give the ball back. Felt like we had a good advantage. We do, and we barely get the first down, but gutsy call there. We're going to get the first down, and we're going to keep this drive going. We're going to go play action fake, and oh, takes a hit. And luckily, we were able to hold on to that ball, and look at this, man. Defense all over it now, third and 14. And we're going to drop back and we're going to throw the ball deep down. Feeling no excellent coverage. And it is picked off. Wow. Once again, guys, pass coverage, pass reaction time is down to zero. And this is type, the type of results that I'm getting. And again, for many years, people have said, man, that the sliders have been reversed in EA football. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm not a slider guru, but I can tell you that I really love the way everything is playing out at zero. 
So Troy is going to take over, man. They run the ball here and nowhere to go. That's a two-yard loss. Second and 12. They're going to hand the ball off again to their back. He tries to find some room on that right side. Nothing doing. Two-yard gain brings up a third and long. He drops back, looks to his right, rolls to his left, takes off, and oh, right up around my user. And look at this. Picks up the big time first down. I told you the CPU QBs, man. I love it. And look at this. They're going to find their impact receiver right away. As he was wide open and breaking tackles, he's going to get all the way down to the 24 yard line. They're handing the ball off here. And look at this guy. Very shifty. Only picks up uh, four yards there, but this guy is shifty for the, for Troy. And look at this throw. What a dime throw on the comeback. Yeah, it's going to get him to a, a first and goal from the two, but ooh, a three-yard loss there. Good defense by the Bobcats. They're going to hand the ball off once again and again. Another two-yard loss. So third and goal from the seven and great defense there able to flush quarterback out of the pocket and they have to settle for a field goal oh one other thing guys i told you i did update uh the sliders the only other gameplay actual slider that was adjusted and this is again something that sim gaming network has done i have it at 15 or, or 20 is either at 15 or 20 as far as the QB accuracy so you can you know at least try to get a healthy balance and look at this nice run so these get a healthy balance man of, of you know CPU gameplay where they're not so accurate you want it to play out a little more realistically so that's why here on Heisman you want to drop that down a bit and look at this man on third and nine receiver unable to lay out for it and make the catch we got to give the ball right back to Troy. But look at that defense, man. Four-yard loss right away. Bringing up a second and 14. And we're going to drop back. Oh, yes. Almost got an interception there. As we drifted back deep into that coverage. Brings up a third and 14. And they're going to pretty much concede and run the draw play here just before halftime. But we do get it back with some decent time on the clock. Let's see what we can do here. Second and five, we're going to drop back. We look right across the middle. And Solidated takes a nice shot. But brings up a third and one. We're going to hand the ball off here. And we off and running. Rumbling, bumbling. Pick up the first down. First and ten. We're going to drop back. And we find our man right there. Quick pass. You know, quick passing game here. Moving that ball very slowly but surely. On second and five, we're going to look to go deeper downfield, but don't really have anybody open, so we dump it down again. But again, very manageable third and one that we're going to be in. We hand it off to Swain. Picks up the first down, and that's all we're concerned with right now, man. With 36 seconds left on the clock, just try to get in position to get some points on the board. And let's see what Jackson is able to come up with. He's going to throw, attempts to throw it deep, but has that ball knocked down back in his face. Second and 10. And he's going to find Soliday again. Y you guys might remember him. Soliday. Oh, look at this. What a throw by Jackson. And the toe drag swag brings up. Oh, look at this. Jackson able to scramble. Not Lamar. <laughs> but he calls his own number and scores. But, man, what a throw Jackson put up there with the toe drag swag just before that. And a false start was what backed them up to the seven-yard line, man. And just like that, Brad Jackson, with great coverage, he just decides he's going to take it and go with no timeouts on the clock. So I love that, you know, him being very concise right there. And, you know, Making that decision to put it on his back, and he got the touchdown. As we look at the team stats quickly here, going into the second half, again, I do appreciate the presentation that's here, but there could be so much more, and I would love to see them do that. Look at this, man. We take a bad sack on a play action, second and 19. Not the way we wanted to start the drive, but look at the beautiful throw 
as we get a man open and we're going to get this drive to continue to move now we're going to come right back at it to Evans with the RPO second and five and we're going to run the ball with Swain and Swain is able to get some yardage there for the first down here we are first and ten we're going to hand the ball off once again we'll take that five yards and second and five, Swain again cuts up Phil. And man, we are just chewing up this clock as well as chewing up the yardage. And woo, dangerous throw on that cross screen. I have yet to pull that off the way I want to. Look at the run game. Well, look at this, man. Bryce Swain, I don't know if you guys saw it, but he went down. He got hurt. So now we bring in our backup guy. And he's putting it on his shoulders. And look at this, man. Swain has a PCL sprain. No, not the news that we want to hear. But we're going to run this speed option again. And we throw the ball behind the would-be back. And brings up a second and 18. But here we are. Picking up some yardage here. I like that tackle, man. That's a nice tackle right there. Good animation. Brings up a third and 11. We're going to go deep. And we find... Holiday, I keep calling him Holiday, but it's Holiday for the touchdown. What a huge mismatch, man. You guys remember, remember him? He was one of our first scouted guys, man, Dre Holiday. And I believe he stands at about 6'4", 6'5", and he is a nightmare on the outside. He's finally in the starting lineup here in his senior season, and he is looking to put on a big performance for us this season but puts us up to 21 to 10 as we get them in a second and seven and woo just off target see that see that's the type of stuff you get when you kind of you know adjust the slider set a bit and look at this they're gonna go deep downfield and it is tice williams another one of our recruits you guys probably remember him I think he's another guy that is in his senior season, if I'm not mistaken. But, man, if you've been watching my streams, you remember that these are the guys that I recruited, you know, after my first final season, or uh, completed season, season one. And these guys are showing up for me now. Yes, he is a senior as well. So I got him and Soliday in the same class. And look at this, man. He goes up and gets that one, going to give us the ball back. And we are clearly in position. To do something here. Second and four. We're going to hand the ball off to the back and we cut inside. May could have stayed on the outside there. But on third and four, we're going to find the back out of the backfield. I keep calling him the back because I cannot remember his name at the moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> at the time of which I'm recording this footage. As we just take a look at the top 25 there, and here we are starting the fourth quarter. So, you know, everything is working in our favor, man. We got the clock ticking. Second and five, and we're just going to snap that thing right at about a second or so before it expires. No need to rush. Third and six, we're going to drop back, and Jackson finds. There's Soliday. Soliday, oh, cuts back inside, and he's in for a score. Dre Soliday is having a day. Oh my goodness. Where have you been, young man? Soliday is having a day. And actually, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I did not recruit Soliday in the first season. It must have been my second season because he's a junior. Tice Williams was in that first class. But it's good to see these guys. Uh, what was I doing right there with my user? <laughs> it's good to see that these guys that you recruit, man, are paying dividends. And I look forward to seeing these guys' career continue, man. Tice Williams is probably going to leave us, obviously, with being a senior. But look at this, man. Here comes Troy. They're still trying to make some noise here, down 28 to 10. And here they are up to the 43-yard line. They're going to drop back. And, oh, the oh, quarterback escapes the pressure and finds his man all the way back on the right side. What a play. And here they are, down into our territory. 
Look at this. They just bouncing off of tackles. Second and 11. Handing the ball off, and they have nothing but space on the right side. Man, huge run to bring them into a goal-to-go -go situation from the six. They're going to hand it off again, and look at this. Just like that. Oh, somersaults into the end zone. You know, this running back here is pretty decent, man. Clinton. Pretty decent there. So it's going to bring up a 28 to 17 score. And right now we're in position, man, to really milk this clock away. All we got to do is continue to get first downs. And look at this, showing some speed there. And it's going to bring up a second and two. We're going to hand the ball off once again. And it's going to bring us to a third and one. And running back is tired here, but we got to run for it, man. Sometimes I would do the no huddle when I know and feel like I have the advantage. I had to take it there. Running the counter play, man. And at this point, I feel like we have worn down Troy's defense. Because, I mean, we are gaining yards, at least five yards a pop at this point. All the way down here to the two-minute one. And look at that. I just jinxed it <laughs> as they blitz. And on second and 12, again, another sizable gain, 10-yard gain there. Let's see, what are we going to call here? On third and two, feeling good about the HB base. You know, get us a lead blocker going and works out exactly how we want, even though the blocker didn't go the way we thought he was going to go. We still got the first down. And look at this. This guy's, this guy's really cooking, man. I'm going to have to give him some more touches. I'm going to hand the ball off again, trying to get him a first down. And now I'm going to try to go for the hat trick with Soliday. And he gets around the edge. Look at the back with the block. And we are in for another score. Man, what a dynamite performance for Dre Soliday. But did you see my back blocking his butt off right there, man? Again, I'm going to have to give this guy some more touches. I got to keep an eye on him and make sure he's not you know, in any danger zone of wanting to transfer. Being that, you know, he's not getting a lot of playing time. And here we are, man, the last gasp for Troy. I don't even know why they did it. <laughs> With four seconds left on the clock. And that's going to do it, man. Game over. But what an excellent performance here, man, by Texas State going on the road. And we finally won a game. You know, a, a sizable game. Haven't done that in quite some time, but look at this, man. Dre Soliday, seven catches for a buck oh one and three tutties. What a beautiful one there. But yeah, man, it feels good to finally get another game where we can put some distance in between us and them. You know what I mean? All of the games that you guys have seen on stream, I either lost big or I... Uh, <laughs> I had to outscore my opponent where it's a super high scoring game. I really couldn't play any defense, but that wasn't the case in this particular game, man. So I wanted to make sure I chopped it up and showed it to you guys, even though you didn't see it on stream. Like I said, man, if I'm not streaming, just keep an eye out for these pre-recorded videos, man. We're going to keep this dynasty going as long as we can. But again, just to rehash for some of you guys that may be watching the tail end of it, I had to simulate... Um, a few seasons in advance because you know when I was on stream last time I complained about the roster size and couldn't figure out why my team wasn't filled you know post transfer portal and all of that but I think I researched and found some more information man and what I did is I simulated everything and I put it on auto and let the CPU do it for me for those couple seasons to get back on track and now We'll see if I can maintain it going forward. So here we are, man, in the 2028 season. Off to a good start. We're four and one. And we're ready to keep it rolling, man. And we'll keep more content coming your way. So stay locked in. And of course, man, listen, if you're still here and you're watching this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notifications. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.